they're fussy fish, kingfish, so at times it pays to change your bait. Before we came out today, we caught the ackers, but we also caught a couple of squid. So what we're going to do now is change the bait and see if we can get one or two eat. And in this case, we're going to run a squid on a twin hook rig. We just pin the top hook, as you can see, pin it up and through the top of the mantle. That gives you a towing point. And because the squid won't last very long, he'll die very quickly. And it just gives you a lovely towing point. We just pin in through the mantle like that and just let it sit there. Then your bait sits like that. This is your towing point. It doesn't matter that this line is loose. That's where the squid will be trolled from. That one will just sit perfectly. So if he comes up, nails it back the head, you've got him. Chances are you'll get him on both hooks because they love squid, as we're about to find out. As you can see, once we've started incorporating troll cam, we don't spend any time looking out the back, looking at the rods. Everyone's focused on the little screen. But as you've seen with the footage that we've shown you so far, it really is giving us a whole new perspective on how we fish. Now, even now with this squid, what we thought they sat like in the water to how it's actually trolling is completely different. Hopefully he won't troll for much longer. Oh, look at that kid, he's alright. What we've been doing is been working back and forth trolling over the area. We've been marking the kings on the sounder. We've been seeing them on the camera, but they've just been really finicky. So we just tried drifting over the top of the spot where they were. And we tried one bait down deep with a yakka, then a squid about midwater as well. And then, oh, and then the final bait up the surface. And then you get a fish like that. It just really pays to change your baits just because the kings are staying down deep doesn't mean that's where they'll feed so in this case they've swum straight past the squid and the yakka down deep to nail a bait off the surface now it's not a very big fish because it's only a light little shimano outfit we got on this guy but it just goes to show with kings that it sometimes pays to use different techniques you know? spread your bait out baits out through the water column the same when you're trolling offshore, you need to work as much of that water column as possible to get the results. Now, not all the kings we get, Sydney's notorious for little guys like this, but they're still a lot of fun, it makes the day all the better. And one of the things all the time with, with your kings is there are some big fish mixed in with the little guys. So you might end up with a couple of little guys like this, the next one could be 10 kilos or bigger. So we'll just let him go. See how long he stays for. 